Welcome to IAI, Israel's largest aerospace and defense company. IAI provides solutions for civilian and military customers worldwide. Combining innovative technologies, operational experience, and proven integrated capabilities at sea, on land, in the air, in space, and in cyberspace. Introducing a long tradition of innovation. Our innovation can be seen in our extensive range of solutions. Sir, we are right now at the MSPO, Israeli Aerospace Industries stand, and everybody are connecting your global corporation with the air with the uh, uh, space but you are also very important provider and the designer and uh, uh, let's say uh, technology leader in the naval systems Correct. so first of all thank you very much for uh, for having me here we are as always happy to be at mspo we are coming here every year and we believe it's a very important ex exhibition and very important uh, element of uh, of, uh, of positioning us uh, in, in Europe and in Poland uh, specifically. As you said, uh, we are a broad aerospace company. We have activities in air, in space, in Elva, and lately also we have a lot of activity in land systems. Uh, we, is, uh, we formed a new division of land systems, so we are also very active uh, there. Now, specifically to your question about our naval uh, capabilities, uh, we brought here to MSPO our Alpha radar. It's, a, it's a, probably one of the most advanced uh, radars in the world, uh, based on a completely digital technology. This is Elta. Uh, this is Elta. Elta. This is Elta. Uh, Alpha is the, is the name of the radar, okay? Elta is the company. Uh, so Alpha uh, radar is a digi fully digital radar. What does it mean? It means that, uh, uh, that, be, that every TR module in this radar is connected through the A to D converter to a, to a big uh, computer that does uh, uh, beam shaping and, uh, and, and beam forming. Uh, and it gives a lot of flexibility how the radar operates and results in a, in a very high performance uh, of the radar. Uh, this radar exists in two versions. One is the rotating version, which we call Alpha, but we have also a fixed, fixed, uh, fixed panel uh, configuration uh, uh, that, uh, by the way, is on the on the Star Six uh, ships in uh, in Israel. But the same technology, the same TR module, the same digital digital advanced systems, but in two different configurations: rotating for light, lighter or smaller ships. And the fixed uh, fixed panels, four fixed panels for larger uh, ships. So uh, we have a Mietznik and the other pro patrol uh, ships, uh, combatant uh, surface uh, uh, vessel uh, programs, and this is uh, dedicated for uh, for our ships and for the future programs of the Polish Navy. Very much so, and. Uh, and I think you you, uh, you express a very important point is that the radar, the systems are very scalable. It means that the same system could be, we can make an antenna larger, we can antenna smaller. Those are not different developments, it's the same technology. So we call it, it's the ease of scalability. And therefore, uh, the system like, uh, like both Alpha and Ember Star could fit a larger frigate, but also a smaller ship. So in this case, it's a very relevant both to Miechnik and also to the OPV style of, uh, of, of ships. And when we are talking about the smaller ships, <coughs> this is one very concrete project right now. This is a small ship, patrol ship and the universal ship for the Polish border guard. And uh, uh, according to the technical demands, technological demands, uh, this is need for the uh, uh, optoelectronic advanced head, lightweight, and uh, lightweight radars uh, working in different uh, bands. So I think you have a lot of uh, products which were already used uh, for, your, for the naval programs all over Europe, uh, <coughs> which could be also which could be also uh, used by by the uh, by the uh, offer for Polish border guard. 
this, this is correct. You are right. It's a, it's a very relevant programs, and we will be uh, strongly looking at this opportunity uh, of participation of offering our systems. I want to mention that Elta is not only radars. We have also a very strong division on uh, on passive SIGIN system, both uh, ELINT, uh, ELINT and COMIN. Dedicated for the Navy as well. Dedicated to the naval systems. We have uh, we won a significant amount of, of new programs in the naval arena the last, uh, the last few years. Uh, here at uh, MSPO, we brought a very exciting product, a very unique product. Uh, that operates, it's, a, it's a basically a, a direction finder in HF frequency. HF frequency is very low frequency. Because it's a very low frequency, the traditional system requires very, very large antenna. And we have developed a very unique technology, patented technology, which allows us to use a very small antenna. Still for, the small, for the small ships? For the small ships. Uh, uh, it is relevant also for big ships. The, the, the problem with the HF is it requires antennas of many, many meters. There is no space on the ships and we develop a new technology for the small antenna. So it's kind of unique and we are presenting it here. So generally summarizing, you have a lot of very advanced products for the Polish Navy and the, for the Polish naval arm of the Border Guard. And uh, let's hope we will do something together with, uh, w with the uh, Israeli aerospace industries, also in, the, uh, uh, also in the sea programs. Thank you very much. You know that we are very committed to, to work in Poland. I always mention in the interviews with you that uh, my background is, is uh, from Poland. I was born in Szczecin. Stretching, oh. so it's very relevant to the, also to the naval activity on the, on the Baltic Sea. And we are very committed to provide the uh, Polish Navy and Polish, Pol Polish Defense Forces with the best possible uh, systems. Thank you very much, Igor, and I wish you all the best and the prosperity in Poland. Thank you very much. Thank you.